walking on the water? Who's out walking on the sea? Who's out walking on the water? Jesus, He cares for me. Who's out walking on the water? Who's out walking on the sea? Who's out walking on the water? Jesus, He cares for me. Sitting in a boat out on the lake. Some of the disciples started to shake. They looked up and opened their eyes. And what they saw was a heavenly surprise. Who's out walking on the water? Who's out walking on the sea? Who's out walking on the water? Jesus. All right. So did you have fun this week? Did you learn all about Jesus? Yes, let me see. I'm going to give you a test. On day one, we learned that we are what by Jesus? Accepted. Can I hear you say accepted? On day two, we learned that we are? That's right. Protected. Say it really loud. Yes, and on day three, we learned that we are? Saved. Louder than we are. And on day four, sometimes we make wrong choices, but we learn that we are forgiven. That means God forgives us of all the things that we do. And today, we are learning that we need to live for Jesus. Now that we got all those little things that we learned, we need to do it in our daily lives, and we also need to tell others about the great news that Jesus has for us, okay? Now, who, what animal is on our pennant today? That's right, an owl. And an owl is very wise. And sometimes being wise doesn't mean that we have all the answers. Being wise means that we need to know we need Jesus and that we need him every day and not to forget him in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the night so that we can make the right choices. So yesterday, something really crazy happened. Walking stick fell into the ravine, right? Well, I hope that she makes it out okay. Let's find out what happens. Okay, Jamie. Where did I The kids were using rope to help get her out. That's right. And they did get her out, but that wasn't the end of their problems. So did the kids continue to get along after they forgave each other? Good memory, Jamie. You know, <clears throat> that wasn't the end of the problem, though. Hey, you know what? Let's go finish marking those undies. Aw, oh, Grandma. Wear your raccoon! What does that mean? I have every clothing known to girls, and I've never heard of a raccoon. What's wrong with her? She got pretty banged up. Bang, bang, bang! What are we going to do? Don't eat in the deep end! We're Is gonna... she hallucinating? Is she going to be okay? I hope so. We better find a way back to camp. But that's just it. How do we get back to camp? What direction do we go? I know. Me too. We go, go that, that way. way. Exactly, dudes. If we know which way to came, then we would have been to the right place. But instead, we came here to... Rustler's Ravine. Rustler's Ravine. Duster's Dream. Buster's ba bang so exactly. We went to the wrong place. So, we better help Walking Stick. So, does anybody have an idea? But how do we get back the way we camp? Can't we just go back the way we came? With Walking Stick the way she is? Doubtful. It's a long way back. Come on, dudes. What other choice is there? We've got to all pull together. If we do, I'm sure we can help Walking Stick. We've all got something we're good at. If we think about it, I'm sure we can all do something to help. 
He's right. Of course I'm right. And I'm strong. I can hold walking stick up and help her walk. I know. I can make a splint for her leg out of a stick and some rope. G go for it. And I'm sure I saw some aloe vera back a little ways. I can use that to help heal her cuts. Go get it, dude. How about you, Sammy? What can you do? Me? I can't do much. I mean, all I know about is being pretty. I've never been, I mean, I could brush her hair or something, but that's nothing. I've never been useful or smart or anything. That's not true, dude. Jesus made you do good stuff. If you think about it, I'm sure there's something good only you can do. Do you really think so? Yeah! I think so. Okay, let me check my backpack. Lip balm, no, that's not it. Curling iron, already tried that one. Mirror. Oh, a mirror! Remember in survival class how they said we can use a mirror to signal for help? I've got a mirror, I can signal for help while we walk. Good job, dude. So I guess we're ready to go then, huh dudes? Help me get walking stick up to her feet. Hey ho, and away we go! I'll lead the way. Come to Sun Rock Kids Camp! Hey, it's Michelle. Dude, what are you doing here? Uh, Where? I'm taking a shortcut to the lake. The lake? The lake, dude. Yeah, but the counselors don't like it. It's supposed to be dangerous. But where are you coming from? Camp? Camp, Camp dude! Hey, what's with you guys? You're acting really weird. Michelle, no. where, where is, is camp? camp, dude? Just a little ways down that trail. I can't believe it. We're so close. My books. Basketball. Showers. My pet iguana. Hello? Mommy! Walking, Walking sticks. 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't oh believe we left I'm you. Sorry. We won't do it again. I'm sorry. ankle healed, her confusion cleared, and she got a good rest. She felt just great. Are you sure? Well, I think so. Although I never went back to Rustler's or Bean again. Oh, Grandma, you mean you were walking stick? The one and only. That's a summer I'll never forget. Those kids learned an important lesson that summer up there on Rustler's or Bean. I thought it was cool how they each had their own way to help, even Sammy, who didn't think she could help at all. Exactly. You know, the Bible tells us in Ephesians 2.10 that we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. Each one of those kids was different, but God made them that way so they could have their own way to help. Jesus loves each and every one of us, and he has a plan for us to do good things. It isn't always easy to do good things. True, but remember, Jesus will give us the strength we need. All we have to do is ask. You remember that when you're at Camp Jamie, there might be some difficult things for you to do, but remember, Jesus will always help you. Thanks, Grandma. I'm not as worried about going to camp now. In fact, I'm kind of excited. That's what I wanted to hear, Jamie. I just know your week at Sunrock Kids Camp will be a week you'll never forget. Wow, what a great surprise. How many of you knew that Grandma was walking stick? Look, some of you got it. All right. And that was a crazy adventure that Grandma had when she was younger, huh? And it's awesome that she could tell Jamie about her story and about all the things that God showed her. Let's take a look at our verse. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So, God prepared good what for us? Good? Oh, you could be much louder than that. Works. That means he's got a great plan for you. And all you have to do is be ready to go out and do it. See you later, 1230. Bye.